Join us for all things Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. We're talking Miami Dolphins football on Things Radio Network. One hit, and, uh, oh, it was probably it was on Monday Night Football when we were playing Cleveland, uh, up in Cleveland towards the end of my career, and touchdown Tom, Tommy Bardell. Mm. Um, was coming in the league, this huge fullback that everybody was so confident and excited about, and he caught a pass as a rookie, and he was running up the field, and he just must have decided instead of juking me out to run me over. And I was coming off of a coverage and saw him, and you know how you can just everything slows down and you think in like seconds versus uh, quarter, you know, incremental or like fractional seconds. Right. And I can, I'll can i never forget it. I, I remember saying to myself, this guy, he's going to try to run me over. I can't believe he's going to try to run me over. Why does he introduce me? He's going to run me over. <laughs> so I just got ready and I said, I'm going in like a torpedo. I'm going to run him over. And so it's the classic two rams that hit with their horns. But, uh, you know, it was at that age when I was 28, and he was 21 or 2, and the old man won. And I just, like, I can, I'll remember it forever. My, the bell rung, but it told on him, and he was on his butt, and he had to be kind of walked off the field. And it was just yeah. kind of nice to know that I still had the, the love in my pants at that time. <laughs> yeah, I remember sitting and watching that game, and Dan Deardorff was effusive in his praise for you in that game because you were just you were playing out of your mind. I don't, I don't remember how many tackles you had, but you just you uh, had a tremendous he night. He probably called me the bagel boy. Did he call me the bagel boy? He might have done that, yeah. yeah he, he, uh, he was good for my bagel business. <laughs> <laughs> Never a bad thing. I mean, it was hard for me to, you know, football didn't become really popular in my life until later on in, at high school. I mean, I was still playing, you know, with Barbie dolls and, in the 70s, getting their hand-me-downs, which isn't a good thing. <laughs> no. I was still trying to find my identity, man. I had an identity crisis. So you, <laughs> to get to your question, I was uh, I didn't know a lot of football players when I was a kid. I kind of found football only to find my masculinity, and then I ended up being halfway decent at it. I actually had Barbie, you know, Barbie and Ken's measurements. My family's very musical. I told you I had four older sisters. Uh, in, in order, my sister Mary played piano, very accomplished piano player. My sister Ruth played viola. She wasn't too good. She kind of struggled. She's the Canadian. <laughs> my sister Ruth played cello, very good cello. My sister Sarah played violin, very talented. Then I come along. And now, here's a quiz for you guys. What instrument would you think my parents would highly encourage me to play? I would guess a classical instrument. Maybe, maybe the uh, violin? No. My sister Sarah covered the violin. Oh, right. You did say she played the violin. Uh, What's the last of the quintet? Come on. Uh, wow. Uh, you're, 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 uh, the, uh, <laughs> it's really big. And the bass. A tuba. You guys needed to go to, like, some music theory or some musical class. I, I think we do, actually. <laughs> so, you know, the string bass where you... you know, uh, okay, right, right, right. Ah, the bass. Sure, right. You guys. It just shows that you're, like, one-dimensional. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we eat, sleep, and breathe football. That's it. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll tie this into a football story. So, when I was in high school and I was playing the cello, because I, I didn't want to play the bass, um... Because if I would have played the bass, it would have just reinforced the femininity of, uh, of my family. So I said, no, I'm going to play the French horn, you know, brass. So um, in, in, in high school, um, you know, I didn't really, I only got a half a scholarship to Western Michigan, right? Well, I wasn't getting anything, and no one was really looking at me. But a recruiter from Western Michigan comes in, and my coach really tries to sell him on me instead of this other guy on our team who ended up getting a full ride to Michigan. He's saying, you got to look at this offer dog kid. He's a, you know, he, he goes after the ball. He's aggressive. And so the guy said, well, I'll meet him. So Coach Madison, who was a big influence in my life at Western Michigan, who recruited me, 
comes in and to the counselor's office and says, can you get John Offerdahl on the intercom and have him come here? I'd like to meet him. So the counselor says, John Offerdahl, would you please report to the counseling office uh, for a meeting? So I go and the, the uh, Coach Madison at Western Michigan looks at me and says, uh, John, I would like to sit down and talk to you about possibly a scholarship opportunity at Western Michigan. And I looked at him and I said, I tell you what, Mr. Madison, I have a French horn concert tonight, or a concert, a band concert tonight, and I have to play my French horn and practice my French horn right now. So I apologize, I, I must leave right now. And I left him. Right? And, and he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. And on his note, this is a classic, he goes like this, he goes, John Offerdahl has four sisters, plays French horn. Then in big letters, this is all, he gave me this, it's in my scrapbook. In big letters he said, recruit as walk-on. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's the, oh, man. Guy, that's the football player who played the French horn before you. There you go. <laughs> and uh, I stood him up for a band concert. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Just, you know, that just goes to show you, you got to play hard to get. And and so I was, this is a little unknown trivia. Yeah. I am the longest holdout for the Miami Dolphins. I did not know that. I don't know no. if you know this, but my, my fourth year, I still made the Pro Bowl. All right? But I didn't play the first eight games of the year. I held out. Thank you.